Good Friday morning to you. It's the Weather Extreme video for the last day of 2021. We'll have a few showers and thunderstorms across the area today, but all modes of severe weather will be possible from Saturday afternoon through early Sunday morning. Much colder air moves into the area behind those storms. Here's what I have for you in today's video. We have a dense fog advisory in effect for all of north central Alabama, with the northern counties expiring at 7 a.m. and all of the central Alabama counties expiring at 9 a.m. After the fog dissipates, we'll have mostly cloudy skies with a few showers possible through the morning hours. Then showers and a few thunderstorms will become possible this afternoon and into the evening hours. Severe weather is not expected today, but a strong storm may be possible with gusty winds as a warm front will be moving northward through the area. Highs will be in the lower 70s to the lower 80s. Strong to severe storms will be possible starting during the early afternoon hours on Saturday as a strong cold front will be approaching from the west. The storms along with the severe threat will slowly progress across the state through the evening and late night hours and through the pre-dawn hours on Sunday. The severe threat should come to an end around the mid-morning hours on Sunday. An enhanced risk of severe storms has been issued for the northern half of the state, mainly along and north of a line from Cuba to Jemison to Fruithurst. A slight risk is up south of that down to a line from Dixon's Mill to just south of Montgomery to Auburn. A marginal risk is up for the rest of the southern parts of central Alabama. Once again, tornadoes, damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour, and hail up to quarter size in diameter will be possible with any severe storm that forms. We could have some discrete cells form out ahead of the cold front and those could potentially start rotating, but the main action will occur within a squall line that will move through the area along with the cold front. That is where we could see the greater risk of damaging winds. After the threat ends on Sunday morning, much colder air will move into the area with some wraparound moisture on the backside of the low mixing with the colder air. We could see a few flurries over the northern and northeastern parts of the area. No accumulations are expected. Saturday's highs will be in the mid-70s to the lower 80s. Sunday's highs will occur very early in the morning, ranging from the upper 40s to the lower 70s, but those will drop throughout the day and will end up in the lower 20s to the lower 30s by sunrise on Monday morning. Skies will be sunny on Monday as high pressure will be in control of our weather, but it will be a chilly day across the area. Highs will only be in the lower 40s to the lower 50s. Same story on Tuesday, but highs will be a little warmer, reaching the 50s. Some moisture will try to sneak into the area on Wednesday, so we may have some clouds at times, and a couple of showers will be possible late on Wednesday evening as another cold front will begin to move through the area. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. Showers will remain possible throughout the morning and into the early afternoon hours on Thursday, but those will eventually move out before sunset. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the upper 60s. A reinforcing shot of colder air moves in on Friday, but we'll have plenty of sunshine with highs in the lower 40s to the mid 50s. That will do it for today's video. We're on a one a day video schedule today, and I'll be back with your next video on Saturday morning. I'll have updates on the blog this afternoon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.